Here's a look for Rousey. Yes. Rousey coming off a couple of screens, gets free and knocks down. Well, I see my role changing in a lot of ways where last year I wasn't really a vocal leader. We had a lot of those. I wasn't really a leader at all. To where this year I'm going to have to be a leader whether I like it or not. Rousey pushing the tempo and he got the bucket. I'm the only senior, so I need to, you know, lead vocally and lead by example. So those are just two new roles I'm trying to take on and ex especially on the court. Um, I think my role is going to increase a little bit this year. Um, you know, but just finding people, making sure they're in the right places on the court and, you know, just playing basketball. There he is again, top of the key. And Rousey has 19 points. My mindset would definitely be to win. Um, you know, that's the main reason I came to Marquette from Asheville was to win at a higher level and play at a higher level, but also make it to the NCAA tournament, make it run in the NCAA tournament. So I feel like this year I'm just giving them my all on just having their team like come together and know what winning takes and have a winning mindset. Here's Rousey, deep three, 300th in the career for Rousey. Having leaders like JJ, Dwayne, Caden, and Luke, uh, it kind of taught me a lot of stuff on, you know, even seeing them do stuff that I know not to do. Um, it just helped me, you know, become a better leader for this year because we have a, a ton of younger players who they need that help. They need that leader. They need that leadership role in their life because they really don't know what they're doing it all the time. So it, that was key. Behind the back. Come on now. After I started playing and getting in the games and, you know, experiencing all the different stuff that I never got to experience before, like basketball-wise, um, that's when I was like, yeah, I, I'm glad I made this decision. Okay. Rousey coming off a couple of screens, gets free and knocks down a three-pointer to make it a two-point game. My redshirt year, I really didn't have anything to look forward to on, like, game days and stuff. Like, that's where I get all my, you know, enjoyment. Uh, not saying I'm not a happy person or anything like that, but um, when you play something and you put as much hard work and um, just craft and dedication into something, like, you want to play. So it was definitely tough for me coming out, but being able to play last year, it was... It was amazing um, being able to be on the court, uh, play in the Bradley Center in front of the fans, and just being able to play in the Big East was like a dream come true for me. As the year went on, I kind of started figuring out my niche and figuring out what I needed to do. And by halfway through the year, at the end of the year, I'd figured out my role and I'd understand what I needed to do, what kind of player I needed to be, um, what to do on the court, how to help out my teammates. So I felt like that kind of projected me upwards. And from there on out, I think I had a pretty good interview. They both get it done, and there is hashtag the, the thing. thing. I know what you're talking about. The, the three-pointer with the N1 is called the, uh, the thing. But, yeah, there it is again. Hashtag the, the thing. thing. There it is. And it's going to go. Uh, actually, I don't practice it, but I just got to kind of touch with my left hand to where I can get it near the rim. Um, I actually made a few of those when I was at Asheville. And Rousey left-handed attempt. I mean, it's something where, you know, you get a chance to, you know, get four points where some people, they just take the foul and go to the free throw line where I'm going to try to get the three points and another point. So it's just something I've always done um, and something I'll always continue to do. Got his man in the air and draws another foul. Well, sometimes I don't come close, but there's times where it comes off my hand. I'm like, all right, that's got to that's gotta go. That's going to go. So, like, for the Providence game, I knew that was going in when it left my hand. And he's going to get three free throws. How about a four-point play with the left hand? It was just the feeling I had. I was like, that's going in. And when we played South Carolina, I knew that one was going in. Good friends and Rousey. Oh! No, sometimes when I throw it up there, I have no idea where it's going, but sometimes I can control it a little bit better than others. I definitely would think people on the other team are like, what just happened? But uh, most of my teammates, really, they, know it's coming, they know it's going up once I get fouled like that.